Yes, super hot. It's not a clickbait. Normally when you say you ferment lager is hot, talking about at least I am like 18 degrees, some one even says like 15 degrees and yeah, normal people might say room temperature, but I want to try fermenting this one super hot and the reason I wanted to try that was because the Angel Gist BF16 is one of the cleanest log yeast I ever tried, so I want to try like super hot. I'm doing this stupid experiment so you don't have to. So I will start this as 25C and I will as, as normal ramp it. I will brew it under pressure, of course, but yeah, enough talking, let's just get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and homebrewing. So if you want to learn with me how to compare that beer and brewing, possibly, why don't you consider becoming a subscriber, hit that little bell, smash the like button, and as usual, if you just hit the troll, don't forget to hit the dislike button twice. <sighs> if you want to help out this channel and want to have more content, I have Patreon, channel membership, or why don't you just buy me a beer? All links down below. The recipe for this one is already up in the big Dr. Hans recipe book for my patrons to dig into. It's called Super hot BF16 lager, but we will of course run through the recipe in this grain to glass video whilst I get and pour the beer, because yeah, obviously already brewed it, you can watch some brewing footage. This was actually split batch, this was the turbo yeast, the other half, so you can go and check that out. I will link to that video down below. Let's get brewing! <laughs>
have her. Don't know if you can see it, but it's like crystal clear now. Um, getting some conversation on it. I don't know how well it picks up. And the camera is a little bit back. I have to put myself in the shade here so I could get some filming outside because the it's not a cloud in the sky. Nice. So it's a good time to have a beer. Before we start this, this is not recommended, of course, by Angel Yeast to go in this hot with this yeast. This was just one of my stupid experiments, so, so you don't have to. But when I brewed it at when I started 18 and like bumped it up in the end to like 22, 23 ish, I got such a clean beer. So I thought I need to push this, and maybe I pushed it too much because I did need to lager this longer than I usually do. So this has been sitting for at least like four weeks now, cause when it was super young, it tasted like stressed yeast. And maybe that's not like super weird cause you aren't supposed to brew lager at 25 Celsius and ramp them up even hotter. Nice looking head there. This is a good level of carbonation. Not much on the nose. This beer is obviously not about the hops and it's a quite simple grain bill oil. So I'm going to run through the recipe, but I'm thirsty. Let's just dive in. Well, that stressed like yeast flavor, what I call stressed yeast flavor, is I can, I get, can get that when, when, when yeast is working too, too fast. Sometimes you get fermentation that just runs away and then you can get like a what is called stressed yeast taste that's actually gone by now but we are left with some sort of spiciness besides th that little spicy notes it's not it's not fruity maybe I, if I lager this for another another four weeks Maybe that spiciness has gone down, but that like spiciness I get here, I have gotten in some uh, German lagers also. Besides that little like spice, I'm trying to, it, it's hard to like dis describe flavors, but besides that little spiciness, and it's not like the like, spiciness from, from like sauce or anything like that, but it is something there. But it's a super refreshing beer, but yeah, 25C, don't try this at home, let's run through the recipe. And by the way, I'm trying to get better at Instagram, so please follow me there also, help me out. And of course, I have a mailing list also, where you can get my free ebook if you sign up to. Nice. Three awesome recipes for you to try up at home, in a beautiful package. This was a 62 liter batch. Uh, but, but it was a split batch, but for the recipe. But I'm gonna run through this in like percentage also. I was aiming for quite low ABV beer. I used 6.9 kilos of Pilsner malt or 55.8%. I used 3.5 kilos more of Pilsner malt, but two different varieties there, I guess. 28.3, need to write better recipes. I used one kilo of wheat malt. It wasn't that super simple grain bill as I thought. That's 8.1%. I used 667 grams of Carahel. That's 5.4%. And I'd used 300 grams of acidulated malt, acid malt, for pH adjustment. And that's 2.4%. Uh, in the boil, I added some yeast nutrients and uh, Frutaflock. And as this was a no-shill, I added 200 grams of Mandarina Bavaria at flame out. I have a video on no-shill and why I do the thing I do with no-shill, why I try to not use uh, another vessel and like sh shill it straight in the room kettle if possible. So I added 200 grams of Mandarina Bavaria. I counted that as a 20 minute boil because it's set hot for long time. This was actually put on, on old yeast cake, so there were quite a lot of yeast and a big <laughs> amount of yeast and hot temperature. Of course this fermented out in almost instantly. 
So it's, of course we have fast brew. I mashed this at 65C and did a mash out at 76-ish, 78-ish, but you saw the video. And started this as 25 Celsius. Uh, this was fermented under pressure, 35 psi, and uh, when fermentation slowed, I started ramping up the, uh, the temperature. Then I chilled it, and I tried it as soon as possible, and as I said, it tasted a lot of uh, like stressed yeast. So, I lagered it, and I wouldn't send this back. Let, let me just say this. I, I can't recommend you fermenting this yeast at 25C, but maybe we could do 20. 18 under pressure has worked flawlessly. When you start the fermentation, I would say most esters are produced at like, if you're fermenting hot, not, not, I, I'm not, not, not talking like 25C, but if you're fermenting like in ale temperature, I would say like the two first days of active fermentation, you would get the most of the esters produced. So that's why I like normally like bump up the, the temperature after like two days of active fermentation. If you're fermenting cold and slow, of course, you might have to double or triple that time. If you have any recommendation for a stupid brewing experiment, well, comment down below, I'm your guy. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. And of course, smash the like button and the bell to get notification. And if you want even more content, get behind the scenes stuff. I have Patreon and channel membership. Or just buy me a beer. All links down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any stupid recommendation, well, comment down below in the comments. You know, I'm always up for it. Why do I do these things? Yeah, so you don't have to. Cheers and thanks for watching Dog the Hans out. <sighs> Consider supporting on Patreon member. I don't know why I'm pointing, like Patreon members or just buy me a beer. All links down below. As usual.